Our grammar topic today is the comparison between the simple future or idiomatic future. The idiomatic future tense is called to, going to. Then we are going to remember that with will, we are going to use the same structure for any subject. I will, you will, he will, she will, it will, we will, they will. Will is going to be our auxiliary verb. After it, we have to use the main verb in simple form. I will stay, you will stay, he will stay. If we want co to contract will with the subject, we get the contraction apostrophe LL. And we are going to say it, I'll stay, you'll stay, she'll stay, it'll stay, will stay, they'll stay. Then for affirmative, we have the long form will or the contraction will. For negative, again, we are going to use the same structure, but we are going to put the particle not after will. Will not state, I will not state, you will not state, and again, we use it for any subject. If we contract the auxiliary verb with not, we get the contraction want for negative, in simple future. For the question, remember that we put at the first time the auxiliary verb. In this case, will. Will I stay? Will you stay? Will he stay? Will she stay? And the two possible short answers for these questions are, yes, I will. Yes, he will. Yes, we will. Or no, I will not. No, I won't. No, she will not. No, she won't. Then we have the future be going to or idiomatic. For this structure, remember that we use the verb to be as the auxiliary verb. Then after the auxiliary verb, we are going to use going to and then the main bear in simple form. I am going to work. He is going to work. We are going to work. And don't forget that we can contract the verb to be with the subject. And we get the contractions. I'm, his, she's, it's, your, we're, their going to work. For the negative, as the same as the simple future, after the verb to be, we have to add the particle not. I am not going to work. I'm not going to work, if we want to use the contraction. He is not going to work. He isn't going to work. We are not going to work. We aren't going to work. Again, we contract the auxiliary verb with the particle not. In the question, we start with the verb to be, um, is, are, depending on the subject that we have in our sentences, then going to, and the main verb, again, in simple form. Am I going to work? Is she going to work? Are we going to work? Yes, I am. Yes, she is. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. No, I am not. No, she is not. No, she isn't. No, they are not. No, they aren't. Both structure refers to the future tense. Let's check the uses for these two structures in future. Both of them are used to talk about predictions. But be careful because we use will when we think some will happen. We think 
Something will happen. He will love your present. They won't win the next match. And um, we'd be going to the prediction refers to something we see and we think will happen. We see something will happen. Stop, we're going to crash. Look at those clouds, it's going to rain. Another use for both structures are to take decisions. But if we use will, it is an instant decision. We take it at the moment. We don't have milk, don't worry. I'll buy some milk after work. The decision that we take in this situation is instant at the moment. And for be going to the decisions and intentions are in future or we plan them. I'm going to have a drink after work. Now I am working. That's why I plan to have a drink after work. We are going to get married soon. Okay, now we are sweetheart. Thank you so much for your attention to this presentation. Okay, now we are going to do our Kahoot exercise to put in practice the difference between Simple future and idiomatic future. Let me share with you my screen. Okay, the pin for our game is 7393607. Or scan the code that we have on the screen, please. Okay, Fernando, Alejandro, thank you. Okay, thanks a lot, all of you. Okay, let's start with our game, please.
Ok.
translúcido, más todo. ¿Qué sucede? Cada vez tiene. Okay, the winner for this game was Berenice. The second place, Valerie, and on the third place, Monica. Congratulations. Okay. Okay. Do you have any question, any comment, any doubt? No? Okay. I want to thank you, your time, your attendance to this class, and don't forget to write your full name on the chat, please. See you next class. Bye-bye.